finally awake. How'd you sleep? That's good. Been real sleepy today, huh? No, it's actually a... It's a good thing you're up now. We're almost there. It's been okay. Um, it's been a very peaceful drive out so far. There have been that many cars, just kind of been just driving, thinking, you know. I'll tell you later. So, uh, what would you dream about? Oh, yeah? Okay, well, what was I doing in your dream? You almost didn't want to wake up, huh? Sounds like a perfect dream. Who knows, maybe one day we can make that dream a reality, huh? But for the meantime, we are here, so let's get to the spot. stuff out of the back. Okay, good. Alright, let's go. You know, one of my favorite memories has always been coming here. I don't know, there's just something about this place that makes me feel so at peace. You know what I mean? This place just has a way of making me feel okay. And then, ever since you've been with me and you started coming out here with me, it's just like... It's just perfect. Me too. Me too. I'm really glad that, um... I'm really glad that you started coming out here with me. I'm very glad that I showed you this spot. Cause like, one, what was once my spot, like when I was younger, I used to come out here. I just, it sounds weird, but I just bring a lawn chair and a book. And I just set my lawn chair up and read my book and listen to the birds and the water and I guess now that I look back at it, it was kind of my, um, my escape from reality, from school, from work, just everything I had going on, you know, this was a place where I could be and and there was nobody to to bother me or to give me uh, anxiety over things you know it was just it was just me and I felt like every time I came here I could 
think clearly again, you know? Of course. Well, um, here she is. A good old spot. Look how far you can see out on the water. Just never get used to that. I'll set this stuff up. You know, um, it, it's funny that you had that dream, because that was actually something that I was kind of thinking about on the way here. That I would just, would love to bring our kids here one day, so they could see it themselves, you know? Go ahead and take a seat. You are very welcome. What do you mean? Of course. I've always seen a future with you. To be honest, it's kind of hard to see my future without you now. That's not true. I'm terrible with words. I just, um, I, I, I guess I just say what I feel, you know? It doesn't always come out great, but when it does, I... Um, I don't know how I got like this. It's just kind of how I am, I guess. I think very early on I I realized just how beautiful everything actually is, you know. And, and people are always they're always so worried about the wrong things. And I guess I just I seen the meaning behind everything a lot earlier on, you know? Like, look at this place. How could you be worried about anything else when you're here? It's, it's so beautiful. I feel like people get so caught up in their, their lives that they forget to take a minute and breathe and just really take a look around them, you know? Because there's just beauty in everything. You just gotta, gotta open your eyes and you, you gotta look for it. Yeah, sure, we can lay down. Never mind. <laughs> it's funny. Well, I can assure you I'm a real person. With a heartbeat to prove it and everything. <laughs> I could never do that. I'm a speaker, are you kidding me? No. No, I, I know how people are. And, and nobody would take me seriously. Because the sad reality is, the way that people look at it is, somebody who's as young as me can't have a sufficient view on life. Because in their minds, I haven't lived enough yet. So nobody would... Nobody would take anything I have to say to heart, you know? And that's okay, because, you know, you can't, you can't guide people in everything. I, c I couldn't guide somebody to happiness. You have to, you have to find that on your own. For me, I guess, just spreading love and th the knowledge and experiences that I've had to those around me is enough. I love you too. Yeah, it's okay, you can close your eyes. But b before you fall asleep, I want you to know one thing. 
you know that no matter what happens between us, right, I will always, always be here for you, no matter what. And that's a promise.